So here we go again. We are back in the New England Mountains multiplayer, still hunting for a diamond bobcat. And full disclosure, this is actually what I wanted to do yesterday, but there were literally zero New England Mountains servers open. So we went to Parquet, ended up having a great hunt. So kind of running with a similar loadout. We do have the 3030 and the 44. I'm still super excited about that model 1894 coming to the game. Having a rifle is gonna cover classes three to eight is going to be huge as we've got a male bobcat down there already but we also have the 12 gauge that's going to be our bird gun and our moose gun today and we've got the 22 h should we get an opportunity at a turkey or fox so if we can get eyes on this bobcat we'll try to get started with that it must have went right down into the trees that's gonna be our guy right there a level six and the more i think about this the more i think that rifle is going to be a huge deal it probably depends on optics but when you initially think about it, as we made a long shot, I think, and he just got stuck there. Thinking about a handgun caliber in a rifle maybe doesn't sound that encouraging. But then you look at the ammo stats. It's really just because of the limited range that maybe the 44 is isn't that used. I mean, 70 penetration and 16 expansion is really, really good. And that coming with a rifle with longer zeroing would be absurd. Where is this thing? Blends in really well laying in the water here. So just a brown bronze. That was an intestine shot and it brought it down that fast. First time we've seen the 44 not punch all the way through. But even at that, 23.6 to get us started. And hopefully we can encounter a good number of them today. Feels like every single hunt we just get going and we get a max estimate track. And here we go again. Onto a 35 to 45 kilo bobcat track. Nine minutes in. So... I guess a good sign, not that it's much different than most hunts, but better that than not finding any at all, I guess. That's probably our bobcats fleeing there. Might be in a spot we can actually see, a level 7. So not exactly what we're after, maybe an opportunity for the 30-30 because it is a longer shot. Got a female out there warning calling as well. The only thing is, we don't have quite the power that we did in the 44. So we'll see if we're gonna punch through to a lung or not. Two shots there. And either way, just best to get it down, quite honestly, but I wonder if either of those hit anything. I'm gonna say, sort of? We got a non-vital hit, so there was some penetration there, just not through to the lungs. And I won't harp on it, I'll just say it one last time. If there are optics on that 1894, just having that extra bit of power on a rifle, I just think that's gonna make a huge difference. Now, would that have gotten through to the liver? I mean, maybe? And then the second shot was not even close. 25.91. Probably the smallest max estimate bobcat we've shot in a while. But, to max estimate one getting started as many of these hunts do. This is getting ridiculous. <laughs> There's another albino moose here. And they're just coming walking down here. Not sure, yeah, it's kind of the beginning of their drink time. Literally the exact same result as our last hunt. The only difference is... This time, we have to go with the 12 gauge slugs to take down a moose. So, we do have the scope. Where does she actually get to? I don't know exactly where they're drinking at, but if they come across here, we've got a shot opportunity. She's attentive. How far can we zero this to? We should probably load it. That seems like a, a relevant part of this puzzle here. And we can zero to 75. So, if we just get a touch closer as they move across... We could probably do this without having to track her. She's alert now, but in range. Now, last time we missed the heart. This time, we may have missed the heart again. I wasn't sure how high to aim on that. Almost might get a crack at this again. Depends if she kind of slows up. All the other animals are running to the right. I thought she would too. How interesting. And no long shot for the second time in a row. Now, these are the same moose that she was with, but I haven't seen her come back through there yet, so I'm hoping we can get another crack at this, because we definitely kind of rushed that. I was worried they may just drop past, and I was having a little bit of issues with this particular server and lag. However, I guess the host left. We have host. There was no need to rush that. We should be fine. Oh, there she is. And hopefully we can be fine with a follow-up shot. So she's coming through there nervous. This time, we're not going to attempt any kind of hard shots. If she could just get out of that circling loop, that'd be great. Just a broadside long shot is all we're looking for. So, ideally, we don't need to get up and alert her, and this should work just fine. 
even gonna let her go a bit further here, just so we're not shooting through any kind of shoulder. I don't know what she is doing, and we may need to alert her just a bit, but this quartering angle is solid. That looks a little more like it, so 12 gauge slugs on round two to get the job done. And my wonder is, do we run into the same thing as last time? So in our last hunt, I believe we had the M1 as our kind of moose weapon for the hunt, and our shot was pretty much online. Could have been a little bit better, but it would have actually hit the heart with more penetration. I'm thinking that's not going to be the case here with the 12 gauge slugs. It was a 90 meter shot. Ooh. Yeah, a touch low, I guess. And the harvest screen's not always exactly accurate to what happened, but I don't know that that hits the heart regardless. Yeah, that's not exactly into the lung by a lot, and we still hit the shoulder, which is exactly why I wanted her to walk past us, so that we could avoid that. Kind of lucked out, I suppose, but always nice to get an albino. One of these days, maybe we'll get a rare moose that's a bull on these hunts. It just always seems to be a cow, but we shall take that as we move along. Just about missed this one. We've got a bobcat rest zone, but as you can see, used by another max weight estimate cat. Now, this rest zone should be currently active, so I think it's around here. The only thing is, I don't see a single footprint, so could be interesting, but I'd like to think if we just kind of run around long enough, we'll just trip over a track because, again, it should actually be right here. Amazingly. That didn't take long at all, but two level 7 max estimate cats now. Rather unfortunate, and hopefully this time we can make a better shot with the 44. Now, we kind of slowed down there. That's going to slow him down, I would say, for good, though. Not bad. Get an angle where we don't have to shoot through the hind end, and we're back to normal. So this will be officially our first gold bobcat of the hunt. I think it's 0.01 smaller than the one that we whiffed on. We shot too far forward, got him right through the neck. We will take a lucky shot, especially after already messing up one. And hopefully we're getting just the smaller max estimate ones out of the way first, because two level 7s, they gotta be the very bottom, basically, of that 35 to 45 kilo estimate to even be a 7. And we had two of those, that's not exactly what we typically see. Ooh. Was that just molting? I think it probably was. That was a kind of light-colored pheasant. Pretty sure it isn't a rare. Pretty sure he maybe managed to avoid those shots. For a second, I thought that was leucistic. No, we actually got him. So at least we'll get to see. I want to say it may have been gray. Not even molting. And that would be the case. So nothing crazy there. 12 score. Which, you know, when we kill 12 scoring Red Fox on Emerald Coast, it always leads us to diamonds. So hopefully that's going to be a good sign. Hit him with two pellets at 62 meters. Kind of just lucked out. Didn't have time to change the zeroing. It just happened to be zero for 75. But... We'll take a little bonus kill and a little bit of adrenaline thinking that was a rare. So you can probably tell. Lighting has changed a little bit. We actually change it to Bobcat Drink Time. Just to kind of see if we can make anything happen. And thus far, all we've made happen are level 6s showing up. So hopefully there's a big one somewhere waiting on us. I don't know where that shot hit, but kind of made for an interesting animation. Trying to make up for what I think was maybe a low shot the first time. And from way back here, I can see that was Vital Blood. So... Definitely needed it on that follow-up just to get what I believe is going to be a gold. I think he was 23 minimum on that estimate. We got a black bear feed zone right where he dropped. It is a gold. Yeah, and oh, that wasn't even close on that first shot. Low and way too far back. Second shot, lung, liver, stomach immediately drops it. Gray variation this time. And we're kind of getting up into what I consider the better area of this northern creek for Bobcats. It's about 5 a.m. We should be able to get all the way to the east side just about at 6.30. It typically takes around an hour and a half in-game to get to that point. It's, in my opinion, the best place to look for bobcats. Hopefully there's a big one waiting on us, because thus far, a couple of big sevens is as good as we've done. It may just be a day of level 7 bobcats over and over again the whole way up along here. This is what we're encountering. Now, with the 30-30, at that angle, I kind of forgot to get stuck in the river, so... I was not sure that would punch through too long, and it doesn't look like it did. Considering it's just kind of sitting there, we'll probably just kind of veer around and try to get a follow-up shot. I actually think if we gave that long enough, it would probably bring it down anyway, but just go ahead and get him down. Still got a little ways to go to get out through here, but it's just 7 after 7, no max weight estimate 7s this time, which 
may or may not be a good thing. I'm not even sure. So just quickly, how did, oh, we got the very left edge of the skull. So maybe that would have pushed through and gotten along had we hit the shoulder. Just barely clipped that. 25.53 for that one. So barely any smaller actually than the couple of max estimate sevens we had. So maybe one last chance in a place I would not have expected. The only reason we got this track was because of the kind of fleeing call that you get. It looks like he ran right across the creek. I feel like he should be in view. I just don't see him at the moment. So we're down here on the west side of the map. And I was actually going to visit the lake where we got our big monistic in single player for Whitetail. It is a mythical, so not going to be any kind of clutch diamond, unfortunately, today. Can we somehow clutch a decent shot on him with the 44? I think we just did. Not bad. And, you know, it's encouraging to see big bobcats in other areas. Some of you guys may recall, in early access, I think day one of New England's release, we streamed this map, and there was a level 9 bobcat, like, down in here somewhere, and that's the only one we have ever seen. Not only did it troll, but early access for New England did not carry over, so even if it made diamond, we still will not have a diamond in our trophy lodge. As for this guy, at least it wasn't another max SM at 7. 26.39, hard shot, at 98 meters on the move with that 44, a little bit of Shooting redemption, our shooting has not exactly been up to par today. But I think, unfortunately, yet again, we've come to New England and are not leaving with a Diamond Bobcat. I think maybe we are going to try to spread out our search a little bit more. I'm even considering single player checking some of these spots down through here just to see. Because we've shot so many by now and still no diamonds to speak of. But always good to leave a hunt with some kind of trophy. Another Albino Calmoose that makes two hunts in a row on New England with that. And maybe next time, if not a diamond bobcat, we can find something that's not a rare cow moose when we come here to New England next. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.